so tired. All right. I was pulling hairs out of my chin earlier. It's something I do. It's like, hmm, this one's bugging me. Hmm, this one's bugging me. I get out the mirror, I got the tweezers, and I'll start, you know, till it's smooth. Problem is, for the first time ever, I, I picked a hair out, and it was attached to all the skin in my chin. So I put a big hole in my chin, and I started bleeding everywhere. It was just, I don't know if you can show blood on YouTube, so. Nasty. You can hardly tell I did it now, though. Mmm, it feels so smooth. I mean, I could just shave like normal people, but pulling hair out one at a time is so satisfying. It's Tuesday. It's 4.14, my goodness. So early. I did get here at 7.30. Well, 7.30-ish. And sat through a whole bunch of meetings. I'm going to sit through a whole bunch of meetings tomorrow. 7.30 again. By then, I will really look, you know, bags will be most prominent. Mm. Oh, man. So tired. So, it's also uh, September 11th, which is a super big deal, you guys, because it's the first anniversary of the 10th anniversary of 9-11. I'm one of those people that's like, guys, it's been 11 years. I'm, great. I'm, I'm glad that the, you're on Twitter and this is your first 9-11 on Twitter, but we could probably start moving on. Well, I guess we can't move on if they're busy attacking our embassy in Egypt, but, well, as an American, I can move on. In fact, weren't we all supposed to move on almost immediately? I mean, we had SmackDown two nights later, didn't we? I was trying to figure out when I stopped uh, commemorating 9-11 uh, on the board. Looks like last year I celebrated the NFL kickoff, which is good. This year I was a day late on Flea's catfish picture, so... Ha! In 2009 I used that picture of uh, that dude standing on the observation deck, which even today Rihanna tweeted out to let everybody know what a heartbreaking photo it was. I guess you had to be there. Yeah, there's a genuine tribute 2008. 2010, I put a picture of the Koran up just to be a dick. Yeah, so by last year, I really stopped caring. And by this year, I also stopped caring. I think after 10 years, though, you can kind of stop. Don't tell it to MSNBC, though. MSNBC is going to play that episode of the Today Show until the end of time. And... I'll never watch it because I will probably be working every time they show it. Well, I suppose 9-11 occasionally falls on the weekend. That actually led me to another thing to think about. The September 10th episode of Raw. And how that date for Raw kind of now seems like a bad idea. 2001, of course, you had 9-11 the next day. 2007... Uh, it was revealed that Hornswoggle was Vince McMahon's kid. Just as bad as the terror attacks for some people. Of course, he turned out to not be Vince McMahon's kid in the storyline. But that's a whole other storyline. And then, of course, last night where uh, it turned out Jerry Lawler had a heart attack in the middle of the show. Shouldn't have gone for that second fist drop. We can joke about it now, but... At the time, you just kind of get the feeling in the pit of your stomach. It's like, oh, crap, I'm watching wrestling and someone's going to die again. Why am I doing this? Uh, the other thing, though, is that up until that point, there was almost nothing to talk about, and that show was incredibly boring, and I had pretty much not tweeted for 45 minutes. But that's not why you want to start tweeting. And then you start thinking, hmm, how's this going to affect my cloud score? Not really. But there are people out there who are like, yes, this is my time to shine. And there are a couple people who are like, yes, now I'm going to do some definitive writing. Because your opinion is never more poignant than when you're talking about somebody who almost died. I don't know. I ended up bashing together five or six paragraphs and, uh, for the board, just because I felt like we were going to need a thread, 
And then, of course, no one actually used it because we already had the earlier thread that started in real time. Which, of course, will happen when someone's near death. That's the sort of news that doesn't really want to wait for the end of the show. And tell while we were watching the show. I'm not sure where I'm going with that. I guess I'm glad he's, uh, well, I'm super glad he's not dead, obviously, but I don't know. It just seems kind of sad now because you kind of feel like that's probably the last match he's let, he'll ever be in, for WWE at least. I would not put past him coming back and doing some Memphis stuff or indie stuff or uh, in whatever Caribbean island is willing to pay him exorbitant amounts of money. You know, the irony is, this is actually not uh, anything to do with that, but it, it popped into my head. At the beginning of the show, when Bret Hart was telling CM Punk, you know, the thing about Lawler is he always shows up. He didn't show up last week. He had that pre-tape where Punk beat him up, and for whatever reason, he wasn't on the show. And I am not uh, caught up on my stolen observers, so I'm not privy to why he happened to have the night off last week. But after hearing that he was in Aruba over the weekend, uh, well, I don't really have a point. I just want to point all these things out to you, and then you can go, hmm, yes, interesting, and then stroke your uh, non-plucked out uh, with tweezers beard. Death sucks, y'all. Just can't avoid it. What is happening? I ended up rebooting the laptop last night. Which meant I ended up staying at work. By the time I got out of work, it was at least 10 hours after I had shown up. That's no way to work. Even now, it'll be coming up on 9 hours because I got here at 7.30 and it's almost 4.30. Uh, did I mention the unofficial temperature? 96 degrees. Yeah. Over 90 for the 31st, 32nd day of uh, the year. That's high for us. 96. Wow, we unofficially hit 97. I think the official temperature was only 95 or 94, but... Why am I in such a rush to leave? It's air conditioned in here. It is not air conditioned in my house. And the air conditioner has that wonderful mildewy smell. <sighs> but I will turn it on when I get home because it's going to be hot! By the way, temperature is supposed to plummet. 70s tomorrow, so... Might mow the lawn. We'll see. Was there anything I was supposed to talk about before I got into all this other stuff about wrestling and death and stuff? I bought some plane tickets. Man, I, what I should have done, and of course, you, you think about this stuff with the benefit of hindsight, is this finally would have been the perfect opportunity to get one of those miles cards. The problem is... After I book this flight, I'll never book a flight again, so what good are the miles? So maybe it's okay that I didn't. But I have an American Express blue cash card, and I booked through American Express, so I got double reward points or something, which also won't give me anything. But I sure got a lot of it, whatever it is. A big trip, big trip coming at the end of the year that I'm not going to tell you about. Uh, we'll just wait for it to happen, or we'll wait for it to get closer to that time, and then I will divulge the details. Um, that's going to keep you tuning in for sure. Only 52 days until opening tip-off at the Target Center. Man, I'm excited. Pictures of Rubio on the on the Twitter. Pictures of Big Peck. Big Peck has lost 10 pounds. Nikola Pekovic is going to be a monster, y'all. If you do fantasy basketball, that's a guy to look at for, you know, backup center, or second center, or third center. How do they do fantasy basketball? I don't know. The other thing, I was in such a rush to get out, I just put on a shirt and then forgot that it was 9-11, so no flag. I do have this. It looks like a flag. Well, if this were taken off, it would look like a flag, and it lights up. This thing looks like a flag, and it lights up. Also, I have an actual flag. All right. I'm like this all the time, though. Today's not special. Fun, fun, fun. 
my time is up, so thanks for sticking with me. Uh, if you have anything to talk about. Wow. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, but if you do have anything to talk about, you know how to reach me. And uh, we can determine what I will talk about. Or else it'll just be some more loopy, sleep-deprived stuff one more time. Happy Tuesday.